Hey guys, welcome back to another eBay Street Pair video. I found this in the bin today. It's a Breville toaster. Over here they have the logo Breville and at the bottom it says the Smart Toaster. Model number BTA840. There are temperature controls down here for each side and button controls up here. Okay, let's see what's wrong with it. Okay, I got the plug right here. Let's plug it in. Okay. As you can see, this light starts blinking. Corner lights. And over here at the bottom, the temperature lights are on. I have a slice of bread. Let's see what happens. Just gonna put it like that. Press the toast button. Well, that's cool. Takes it in and spits it out. Why is that? It's going back in again. Okay, yeah, that's really hot and I don't know if you can see it. It's red, the heating elements. Let's cancel that. And that's out. Let's try the other side. This side's blinking, I don't know why. And it doesn't work. Yeah, so that side works. When you press the toast button, it goes down. When you press cancel, it comes up. And on this side, nothing works. Okay, I'm gonna get this opened up and see what's wrong with this side. There's a few connectors I have to take off. There's two transformers over there. And at the front, we have two control boards, I think. I don't know what's under here. Let's break that off. So I think these are all relays. There's two motors here, I think. Some capacitors on the board. There's LED indicators. This is for the heat adjustment. Okay, so since this side's not working, I'm just gonna compare the both and see if there's any differences in between. And if I find, find something, I'll show it. So before I do anything, I'm just gonna check if there's any high voltage we have to be careful of. Just gonna check these capacitors. There's nothing there, nothing on that one. This looks very complex. Oof. If you look in there, there's so much going on. So guys, I think I figured it out. So I'm gonna show you again what happens when I plug it in. Both of these corner buttons light up and then after a while, this side's gonna be blinking and this side's gonna be okay. This is the faulty side. See, it started blinking, so that's not good. Now I'm gonna take it off again. Now what I'm gonna do is there's this small latch over here that I'm gonna press. I'm gonna hold that there and then plug it in. So it's lit up like before. Went off. No more blinking. Can you see that? I'll give you a closer look in a bit. 
Okay, so if you take a look here, I'm going to put this down. Take that out. Then I'm going to show you the latch I'm pressing. So if you take a look down there, if I go down here, there's a switch like mechanism down there. I don't know, it's hard to show you, but there's a switch here. So on this side, it's already pressed. But on this side, it's not. So when I turn it on while it's pressed, then the error doesn't come. When I let it go and turn it on, that error, blinking error comes. This part of the motor, the right hand side part over there, should be further up here so that this switch is pressed, pressed against the other side. Let's see what we can do there. Okay, so I've taken off both motors. So this is the faulty one. Can you see? This switch is not connected whereas this one is touching. So we have to make sure when you turn it on, this has to be touching. So what I'm going to do is move this head above this piece, just like that. So that these two are touching each other. Okay, I've changed it. Now I'm gonna clean it up and put it all back together. 